Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats, rats, dogs, and squirrels. We're going to come up with a better introduction eventually. But for now, this is Jam Machines, episode 002. James, how are you doing this wonderful Saturday morning? I'm doing all right. How are you and your Mountain Dew voltage? Blue Dew today. That's, I don't know. I just felt like I didn't go. I didn't come back from work until midnight, so I just woke up. I woke up, and it was like 10.20. I'm like, well, I should probably get up. And then my brother got in the shower. <laughs> how do you do that, but... I'll go to bed at like 3 a.m. and I'll wake up at 9. I can't do that. If I go to bed six at, hours? I mean, if I set an alarm, I'll do it. No, no. If I go to bed at 3 a.m., I'm probably not waking up until like 2 p.m. But right. I, I mean, it depends because your body goes through sleep cycles mm-hmm. and it goes through four, kind of like a clock. So um, it goes through four sleep cycles. And I know this because I watched like a one minute YouTube video about it. And each cycle lasts about 90 minutes. So you start with light sleep, and then you transition to deep sleep, and then you go into dreaming, and then you go back to light sleep. Mm -hmm. And then if you wake up at the end of a full cycle, you wake up like refreshed and ready to go. But if you and if you wake up at the end of one of the cycles, you also feel better than you normally would. But if you wake up in the middle of a cycle, especially like dreaming, then you wake up and you're like in a horrible mood. You're like, ah, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the whole cycle adds up to what is it, an hour and a half? It adds up to about six hours. So if you went went to bed at three and you want to wake up at nine and you and you like set an alarm, you should wake up and be completely fine. Right. But then if you if you keep sleeping past it. And you wake up at 10, and then you're like, uh. I don't know, I guess I'm just built different. I guess you are, it's possible. So what were we talking about yesterday? We were talking about streaming services. And How did we get to that again? Be, oh, jeez, I don't know. Uh, we weren't talking about watching anything, so I'm not sure. Oh, no, no, we were talking about Summer 16. And then that, right. led, to, that led to generational gaps. And then we, I brought up how That's we have cartoons. Yeah, I brought up how like we have cartoons that we um, like thought were the best cartoons back in the day, and now right. we have a new generation that has new cartoons mm-hmm. that they find are the best, and that got just transitioned to cartoons, which led to streaming. Right. Yes. And where were you going there? I don't know. <laughs> I was just, and I wasn't even making like a main point. Like, yeah, I was just saying. Once you, you have you, like you brought up something really interesting though. So I from what I remember I named all the streaming services and there's like six or seven right now yes. and eventually it's just gonna be you're gonna get the smart TV. Mm-hmm. And the smart TV you're gonna have you know, you won't have accounts, but you'll have access to all these little all these little channels. Yeah. And we'll just be back to channels. Yeah. It'll just be a channel by then. Where you go oh so I mean, okay, so you can pick what show you wanna watch that has to stay on that channel, but Yeah. Yeah. It's not just Netflix yeah. and Hulu like it was for yeah. the past and like, 10 years. I definitely want to bring this up because um, one thing that I do like recognize was, and you might have to help me out with this because I don't use a lot of streaming services, uh-huh. but from what I remember, the first was the first one Netflix. The first main one, yeah. Yeah, and then back then it was, they quite literally mailed you... They yeah. mailed you a DVD. Did your parents ever do it or anything? We they, they did Redbox. So they go to Redbox okay. and they find a movie to rent. But we never. When we got Netflix, it was digital. No. Yeah. Have you ever seen The Lovely Bones? No. The movie. No. Oh, okay, it's a sad movie. But um, I remember that was the first movie my mom got on the uh, delivery with Netflix, and I remember thinking, oh, you know, it's kind of cool, blah blah blah. And then right after that, you remember GameFly? Where you could rent a video game and then send oh, it. Oh, no, no, yeah, I remember Gamefly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of like Netflix, blah, blah, blah. And then Netflix all of a sudden was like on the TV, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, blah, blah, blah. You could, I believe they, they like first put it on the Wii. And you could get No, Netflix was on the Wii. As a Wii channel. Netflix was on the yes. Wii. Yes. Yes. Right. And that was in 2006. 
around because uh, the, 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 all right, hold on. the Wii came out in 2006 yeah, 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 yeah so I know the Netflix channel had to come back after that right so it yeah, so it, we're I don't know we're talking about between 2005 and 2010 I couldn't tell you when but yeah so somewhere like a few years after the Wii came out so probably like 2007 to 2010 sure. Netflix channel shows up but I uh, remember that because yeah I watched Netflix on the Wii but no 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 I didn't <laughs> I was like a little kid I was probably like 8 and I saw that there was a Netflix channel, and I wanted to watch Netflix. So I thought if I just put the Netflix app on my TV, I could. Mm-hmm. But you have to have an account, and I didn't. <laughs> so I, you just clicked on it, and you had to sign in, and nothing else happened. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I remember, and then its rival was, like, Hulu. But the re- I didn't even know Hulu existed until I was on YouTube. So I started using YouTube in, like, 2008, 2009, and I watched these Family Guy clips. And they'd be like, you know, if you want to see more, yeah. it's on Hulu. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. And that, and, apparently, and they're still kind of they're still on, um, Family Guy's still on Hulu. Like uh, apparently, all, almost all the um, the cartoons, like adult cartoons yeah. and stuff, they're, all those cartoons are on Hulu. So, you know, that's where I guess it came from. But um, yeah, so those were the two I remember. And yeah. then there was I again I could be wrong. Like I know there was Crackle. Crackle was for shows. My mom had it on like the. I Roku. don't remember Crackle. Yeah, it wasn't that popular. Okay, we're gonna be leaving out a few when we talk about these. Yeah, there's a, there's a few that like. And there's obviously much newer ones like Peacock that we don't really. Oh, I didn't even mention Pe- yeah, Peacock. Yeah, Peacock is. We don't really what. I mean, do you use Peacock? Yes. Do you use Peacock? Yep. Uh, I watch a f- the first few seasons of The Office. Do you pay? I don't do you pay, pay for Peacock? I do not pay for Peacock. Okay, so when you for when so I I. When I was told about Peacock, I was told about it at Wegmans because you were talking about The Office because that's all. Was it? I, I was that's the all they want to talk about. At I was the one that told you about it though. You, yeah, you did. Yeah, but then I, you, and someone else did after you did, and they, the premise that they brought up to me was, it's free. You can watch The Office free at Peacock. I'm like oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the, first, the first two seasons, and then they didn't one, know. and then one deleted episode. They'll show you. Okay. Or, or deleted scene or something. And when you like say that. two seasons of The Office, do you mean the first two seasons? Yeah, yeah. yeah the first okay, season. so basically, get one season of The Office. <laughs> yeah, because the first season is only <laughs> six episodes. But yeah. either way, um, anyway, so you had Crackle and stuff like that. I yeah. didn't hear anything about new streaming services until 2018 when I heard Disney Plus. Yes. Yeah. And now everyone knows Disney Plus. You said, did you say Paramount Plus as well? Or Paramount was that, Plus or was that just is the newest. That's the newest one. From what I remember, yeah. Um, There's Peacock. um, Oh, wait, is that it? Netflix, Paramount, Hulu, Peacock, Disney Plus. And and I'm sure there's a few others that I'm not thinking of. But those are the five main ones I remember. Yeah. And the purpose of streaming services and, you know, what people expect out of streaming services, I think has tra- changed drastically mm-hmm. throughout the years. And I think that's something worth talking about because back, I'd say back even as far as maybe two years ago or even one year ago, like you go on Netflix and they release a season of a show. They release Stranger Things season two. Well, Stranger Things is a Netflix show. Yeah, it, I mean, it's a Netflix show. Yeah. Right? yeah. But, like, it's a new show. Mm-hmm. And it's not something where it's, it's already filmed, like, 10 years ago, and they just put out the episodes for you. It was a, it's something in development. Mm-hmm. And they released it by season. And that was... Am I, am I correct, or am I wrong? Oh, I don't know. because And that's people get on me, because I'm not ready to watch Stranger Things yet, and I know it's been four years, but... Um, but I, re- I remember people joking about... How they could their, binge it their binge sessions, yeah, of Stranger Things season two. But that's what Netflix is like. Okay, when you do, um, when you watch The Mandalorian on Disney Plus, they release it episode by episode, and that's what I'm getting at. Okay, because yeah, at one point we were, you release it by season, and you watch the whole season, or you pace it however you like. I'm guessing most people binge it. Yeah, binge. and now we're reverting back to releasing it episode by episode, which when you think about it is very similar to cable TV, yep. where you would watch <laughs> one episode a week. But I thought streaming services were made so that you didn't have to wait for episodes, and now we're waiting for episodes. Right. It's it's weird. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't. There might be some marketing reason behind it, but I can't figure it out. I don't know why. Now here's my question: Is you brought up the Netflix and Disney Plus? Is it does Netflix still just do seasons release? I I'll tell you what. I only use Netflix for two things, and that is Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Breaking Bad, um, Breaking Bad came out and ended in 2013, and then it was on Netflix. But it was an AMC show. Now there's Better Call Saul, which is like a prequel spinoff. Netflix has been late to the gun. Like, season three will come out on AMC, and it won't be on Netflix for another year. But when they do drop it, yes, they drop it as a whole season. Yes, but they went, but they drop it as a whole season because the whole season is technically already dropped in AMC. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, with Disney Plus' shows, because, like, things like The Mandalorian and, um, what was it, WandaVision? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those were explicitly Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. So they weren't, you weren't watching it on cable TV, and then you could go back and watch on Disney yeah, Plus. Yeah, no. So from that point, they released it episode by episode. That's what I'm saying. They're just turning into channels. Really? What would be the benefit of that, though? Is there a benefit? Like, just like, not, e- not, not even... Backwards. I mean, not even asking, like, you just to recall facts. Like, just, I'm trying to think about it. Why wouldn't they just release the whole season? I mean... Because I, I feel like that's kind of the whole point of there being a streaming service. In some regard. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that, you know, they keep people talking about it for longer. And I guess, like, if you watch seven week, if you have to watch it over seven weeks, then you have to pay for two months instead of one month. You know what? Yeah. That, I, might, that might be why. Because that's probably the best reason you've said, and I can't, I couldn't think of any of the other ones. That's the only thing I can think of. Right. I just find it weird how they transitioned back over to that. When I mean, I, you know, it, we're talking about, like, you know, we're in the first 10, 15 yeah. years of streaming, I guess. Yeah. The only way to really learn how it was going to affect the market and everything was just to do it. And, I don't know, well, you know, maybe they had it right in yeah. this form. And, <laughs> and this brings it to the other thing that I want to talk about, which was the box office in, you know, like, the cinemas and the theaters Right. Um, oh yeah, I'm sure I've told you about this before, and my recollection of the facts are a little foggy. But I'm sure you remember the movie Trolls World Tour, right? I remember okay. the whole controversy. Yeah, thing, you know? this. Yeah, so just for anyone who doesn't know, um, obviously the pandemic shut down movie theaters, and that's all I'm going to say about the pandemic because that's not important. I don't want to talk about it. Right. All we need to know is the movie theaters are shut down, and most. Major film productions decided just to halt their movies until they yeah. reopened and they could put them back into a box office. Because obviously, you know, like, what are they supposed to do? Trolls World Tour decided we're going to have no box office release. We're just going to put this sucker out on streaming services. Like, um, I can't remember which ones they put them out on, but... It's not a Disney movie, is it? Uh, Trolls? I'll look it up while you're talking. Okay, yeah. yeah. And you had to pay some certain amount, like 20 bucks or 25 bucks, I remember, and you could watch it any time you wanted. I think yes. it like, like pay to watch. And the premise was, well, you can have a family movie night at your house. You can pay for it, set it up on your screen, and get popcorn and whatever you want, and just watch it there. That movie grossed several billions of dollars. Right. And I'm going to fact check that to make sure I'm correct. By the way, Trolls' is DreamWorks. Okay. Yeah. But that, if I'm correct on that, then you is like okay. It it, um forty nine point one million dollars. Hold on. That's how much it grossed. I think so. What was the budget? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe. Well, good thing. I don't know. I just looked at this Forbes article. It says Trolls World Tour a promise game changer, which changed absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it changed. <laughs> it did something. It did do something because um, you know the the movie Soul, right? Yes. That came out on Disney Plus. Yep. You didn't have to go to a theater for that. Mm-hmm. So this. 
at, at that point in life, it, I think, to me at least, it raised the question of when the movie theaters come back. And movie theaters are back, for yep. better or for worse. Um, would this change the box office? Would it change the way movie think? Would would movies have to make a decision of will we go in theaters or will we just stream it and it's, probably make it's more hard money? to predict because I don't know yeah. much about the box office, but I'll tell you what, it looks like it's going in that direction, and I definitely don't want it to. There is listen, I don't want to wait. Okay, so uh, let's say it's like the Mandalorian, uh, and I'm not sure if it's because of like the people on the West Coast, but you know we live on the East Coast. We have to wait until 3 a.m. for that Mandalorian episode to drop. And it's like, do I really want to wait until midnight or 3 a.m. to watch this new Pixar movie I want to watch? No. It's like, I want to wait till the day it comes out at the theaters. I want to go there. Right now it's the summer. I go to the drive-in. I go to the drive-in and watch it on the big building thing. And <laughs> it's cool. I don't want to lay on my ass and, like... You can do that for TV shows, and I did that on TV shows, and that's what everyone's done for years. Yeah. But there's something about going to see a movie, and then you kind of come out. Doesn't it feel different when you come out of the theater? Yeah, you come up. Sometimes you feel like a new man. Well, yeah, that's that's the joke is, like, you absorb that main character's characteristics or something like that. That's the joke you always see. I don't know. I, I, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I am the when, when you come out of Joker, you're like, dang, we live in a society. We really live in a society. We live in a society. But um, anyways, yeah, I don't I don't think there's anything like that experience, so I don't want it to happen. I don't yeah. want anything to change. But. I don't think I don't think the box office is going to go away completely. I don't think. Right. I mean, I, I mean, I think you're right. I think a lot of Americans and just people in general share the sentiment of, Going to the movies, mm-hmm. you know, with their family, with their girlfriend or their boyfriend. Or yeah, it's it it's a date. Yeah, it's a date. Yeah, it's a date. I mean, you got a date, and then you got Netflix and chill. I think both, <laughs> or both, yeah. both definitely exist. Coexist. They can. They. I think they can coexist. You know, right. and I think there's always the option of just having both. Yeah. Well, that's what it's. If you want to go to the theater, go to the theater. If you want to stream at your house, stream at your house. Um, what, are you saying the same movie? Yeah, like it, it, well, you know, it's like how would you drop it? And then if people, I feel like people are going to be lazy enough where they're like, oh, either I drive out or it's already on this. Yeah, place. well, you're argue, you, you and I are both arguing that the experience of going to theater is something that people cherish and right. would go out to despite having the option. But I wouldn't want both for the same piece of you know film. Okay, so for a film, for one film. They would have the option of either putting it on theaters or putting it on a streaming. For the, for the release, anyways, a year later, if it shows up on streaming services, that's yeah. fine. And, that, and that's how we've been doing it. Yeah, so, okay. How things were was fine. Yeah. In, in my opinion. I don't, I, you know, I don't know what it was like for other people or, you know, for the company. Can you elaborate on how things were? So, yeah. Uh, you, okay, so, a movie, um, I don't know. Let's say it's like... I don't know. Let's say it's the first Trolls movie. Okay, that was in like 2017. That came out on in theaters, you know, whatever, for like a month. I, I don't, you know, I don't have the exact dates. I don't know how long things stay in there because I don't know a lot about it. But it came out, and then a year later, it would be on Netflix. And that's, and that's fine. And maybe two or three years later, it would end up on a channel. You know, I yeah, like a, like, a, like a channel would just play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. an eight, eight um, time slot. FX has the movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, they put it on there, the movie channel. Okay. And that's the way I saw that. That was fine because I had three different, obviously, with time in between, I would have three different ways to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how things work. And then we got to shut down movie theaters and then the the guys who make the movie mm-hmm. just went straight they completely just skipped over the movie theater process and just skipped over to streaming it well that's a, and that's the weird thing though because they're like oh well we just want to get it out anyways yeah. I was waiting for did you ever see A Quiet Place I heard a lot about it but I haven't seen it's it it's a yet. good movie so it came I've out I've heard a lot of good things about it it came out in March of 2018 A Quiet Place 2 is going to come out in March 2020 and then you mean you know, it came out a year ago? No, it was supposed to. Oh, it was supposed to. I'm sorry. The, the second one was supposed to come out in March of 2020, 
and then COVID happened. They're like, we're going to wait for theaters to open. And then I remember looking it up on Google one time. The next schedule day was in September. Okay, it's still not out yet. I'm going to watch it at the drive-in. It's about to be out. I'm going to watch it at the drive-in this Thursday. Okay, and it's finally going to be out. So I've just ha- I've just waited a year for a movie I really wanted to see. Yeah. I just go on to other things. You know, I don't I didn't I didn't need to see it on a streaming service yeah. because there's nothing like that experience. Yeah. And I think specifically for that movie, um and you're you're welcome to spoil it for me because or at least like the, I will not. Or at it's least good, it's not good. the ending, but just like the um the all the concept, the plot. Yeah, the con the, what's the, the concept of it is that it's there's is there any spoke, spoken dialogue in the movie? Well, yeah, cuz there's like whispering. Oh, so there's whispering. Yeah, there's whispering and there's like symbols with your hands. So like sign language? Yeah, so basically it's just like an an abandoned family, and when I say family, yeah. I mean not always by blood. And is there is there a score? Yes, the the, the score's really good. Okay. Yeah. So and I think the ambiance of that, you know, mm-hmm. you have the score all around you, and you're like immersing yourself in this environment where there isn't really a lot of talking, so you have to. I don't know, just something like that. Of course, I haven't watched it, mm-hmm. but maybe someone would agree with me. Something like that really should be hey, watched in a movie. In a big movie theater. Theater speakers behind you. Theater speakers. Yeah. Big screen. By the way, that's another thing with horror. I know you don't like them, like, scary or horror movies or whatever. Horror movies and thriller movies, you want it to be, like, and, and I hate saying it because I, I kind of have a little bit of sensitive hearing, but, like, you want that scare to be loud because that's yeah. when it gets you. Yeah. If you're watching it, I don't care how big your TV is or how yeah. good the speaker, you know, yeah. I guess if you had really good surround sound speakers yeah. in your living room or your room, but um, you're not going to get that same scare. It's just a flash in front of you. Yeah. And first of all, I'm, yeah, I've never watched a horror movie and they're not really like my, they're not exactly my cup of tea, but you I'm not, me I'm not a seen one. I've never seen one, and, but I'm not opposed to, I just have to be with the right group of people at the right time, which I've never really been. You'd want to be with a bunch of people? Not I, just like I, one I, other person? I'm not going to watch a horror movie by myself. I'm not going to take, ah, oh, that's the best part. I'm not going to take a girl on a date to a horror movie unless she explicitly wants to, but you, it'll happen. It'll girls, happen. girls love horror movies. That's one thing I learned. <laughs> I've never hey, been with a girl who didn't like them. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. But I, at the very least, I understand a little bit of why people love them. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you're going to put into this environment where... Because what people, some people don't realize is being scared is actually really fun. Yeah. It's yeah. really fun to be scared. It's like the roller coaster thing. It's adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you get scared, you get adrenaline run through your body. You're like, I chills. You're like awake and alert. Like it's it's a, it's a fun experience. And horror movies put you in this position where you're allowed to be scared, but at the same time, know that nothing's gonna really be happen. Safe, to you. Right. Yeah, and that's like the whole roller coaster thing too. So, um, the thing is, I just get jump scared really easily, and I <laughs> freak out. Like I will just scream. I was kind of hoping I had a better reaction when I scared you when you walked in today. Well, you you didn't really like jump out. You were I kind of just like, "Hey, I didn't want to." And I still jumped a little bit. But like, <laughs> if you did a real jump scare, I might have like th- throat chopped you or something. Right. Like that. That's why I didn't want to do it because I know you might freak out or something. Yeah. The uh, jump scares. Were, <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. Did you did your brothers ever do the um, the maze game on you when you were a kid? Oh, that one where you put your mouse through the. Yep thing and then you get to the end and <laughs> did they do that to you or no i saw it and i did it i don't know if they put me on it though i had my cousin put me on it when i was like uh five or six yeah, yeah. i definitely were putting somebody else on it but you watch you watch the videos of like little kids doing it even like back yeah the big dinosaur thick computers you yeah. know like throw it down and stuff like it scares <laughs> them so much it's the best thing ever it's even better when you do it with old people <laughs> I would not do it with an old Dude, person. Dude, those videos are so... <laughs> you might have a court day that next week. You might have killed someone, bro. <sighs> and, oh my goodness. Yeah, there's that There's that game. That's like a jump scare. And have you ever played Five Nights at Freddy's? Uh, no, I had a girlfriend at the time obsessed when it was really big and I didn't want to play it. Okay, my little brother played it. He used to play it all the time. Mm-hmm. And... That's. I'll tell you what. It looks scary though. It does look scary. Cause yeah. you, I what is it? you I, check the cameras and you walk through this hallway. Yeah, I, I don't know. 
I know nothing about the objective of the game or what you're trying to do. You just spend five nights at Freddy's, I suppose. I think you're a guard or something. Yeah, maybe you're a guard. But how are we not talking about Slenderman? Oh, Slenderman! We should be talking about jump scares, because you'd be walking around the woods in the abandoned bathroom, all of a sudden you look behind you, or you... No, there's a little bit of static. Or am I thinking of Five Nights at Freddy's? Five Nights at Freddy's, I think there's static. I don't know. But there's a little bit of static, and you turn around, and there's just like a guy in a suit right there. Dude. It's scary. Slenderman was... When we Did were... Did you play it? No, I never played Slenderman. Oh. No, 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 no. Nah, it was scary. Yeah. Well, when did Slenderman? That was when. That's we were, 2013. So we were in middle school. Yep. When Slenderman came out, that was around where the Harlem Shake was popular. Oh man. That was an era, right you there. You want to know something really funny? <laughs> I have two Harlem Shake shirts. You have two? I bought two, or I maybe my mom gave it to me a gift. It was the summer of 2013 when it was like really popular and right about to die. And my mom's like, "You want a shirt? We'll get you two of these." And so I have one shirt that says, I think both of them say do the Harlem Shake, but in different fonts with yeah. like a bunch of people. And like, I wasn't going to go into eighth grade wearing that because <laughs> it had pretty much died by September. Yeah. And obviously it wasn't going to pick back up. So now my little sister is wearing a pajama shirt that says do the Harlem Shake, <laughs> knowing nothing about what it was because she was four. Oh my goodness. <laughs> when it was popular. Remember when we back me at those... You, you had those middle school dances that were they just threw them together and, and you didn't really do much but um maybe you didn't <laughs> but anyways <laughs> um I remember when the Harlem Shake was popular yeah the uh, Broadway Middle School the school that and, and you, did you go to Broadway Middle School? no no okay so you, you you know nothing about this we had a Harlem Shake contest oh my god yeah so during the dance Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, before the dance, you signed up, and you had, like, teams of, like, what, like, eight or ten. That was a you signed up, contest. and, um, you, during the dance, mm-hmm. they would call out teams, and they go to this different area, this theater, okay. or auditorium, I don't know what the correct terminology is, yeah, but auditorium. you go in there, and they got a phone, and it's recording, and all they tell you is that, here's your props, and you brought whatever you wanted, and they have props. And we're gonna just gonna play the hard shake and just go crazy, do whatever you want. Yeah, right. And the best team wins, but the best dance wins. And <laughs> so I, my, um, our modified baseball team, we all we all decided we're gonna sign up for this, and we won. <laughs> we won the competition. What? That yeah. video is out there somewhere. And the only thing I remember about the dance was that some one one member of the team took two basketballs, mm-hmm. two like like women's basketballs that are smaller, and they put them in their pants so they could be butt cheeks and they were torn <laughs> with the That's basketballs. That's disgusting. That is the only thing I remember. Are women's basketballs smaller? Yes, they're, they're smaller because yeah. women's hands are smaller. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but um, yeah. Well, okay. So what did you win? I can't remember what we won. You don't have any evidence? No, I can't remember what we won. Oh, but we definitely won. Yeah, yeah. We definitely <laughs> won. Because we were bragging about that for a week straight. Yeah. But I can't remember. Maybe it was just bragging rights. I don't know. It was middle school dance. Maybe they just <laughs> they just want to make us look like I idiots. mean, I feel like if they had it set up that much, there would have been, like, yeah. candy. It's probably candy. Okay, so we didn't go... Wait, what was happening in your middle school dances? Uh... So, middle and, school, so I went to Ernie Davis Middle School for 6th through 8th. Yeah. That was just like, see, I can't top that, though, because that, that's that cool. We, it was just middle school. Yeah, but that was one dance. That was, we, only, we only did that for one dance. And then all the yeah, other dances well, were kind of just like the same we, thing. Yeah, so it was just normal middle school, middle school dance. But like not, awkward. For Halloween, you dress up. I'm pretty sure you guys probably had that, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stuff like that, I think every year I just dressed up as a nerd. It was easy to put the nerd, the nerd. <laughs> suspenders, bow tie, glasses, put the tape over them. It was pretty easy to do. Yeah. Um, and I was always trying to impress this one girl, and it never worked. But <laughs> I, anyways, I I wouldn't go with her, but I would just like go there and see her and hang out with her friends and stuff like that. Ah, I see. But um, yeah, that, that's all I really have. You remember in eighth grade, so you had in eighth grade. So I'm talking about 2013 and 2014 here. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm trying to so the song's in my head, but I'm trying to name it because I don't want to sing it. You might have to sing it. Slow down, 
Grab the wall. Oh, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was really big, and that was always playing. And they still play that at school dances now. Like, whenever they're... Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Whenever there's a good, like, club song kind of... Are there songs? So there's that song. Are there any other songs from there's middle Red school? There's Red Nose... Red is by the same guy. That thanks. came out. That that was playing at our middle school dances. Yeah, Sage what? the Gemini is the guy. When did, when did that songs. come out? Both 2013, 2014. Wait, it came out 2013. Yeah. I thought I thought that song was the newer one. They didn't have going crazy. No, it it came out like right after. Oh, okay. as a single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, just songs like that. I'm trying. I can't really remember any of the other ones. And I honestly. I worry I'm gonna get a flashback, so... Flashback... But yeah. I yeah, I don't know. Middle school's weird. Middle school... I, our weird. middle school dances... I mean, they pretty much play the same songs every time. That's what I'm saying. And I was like a little... Yeah. I was like a little weirdo, so I just like... I literally would just be break dancing. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember if anyone was doing any nasty dancing at those. I think... I don't think so. Because we were all, like, mad awkward. All I know is there was the gym where you danced, and then there was the cafeteria where they had, like, pizza for a dollar. And they had pixie sticks for some reason. They sold pixie sticks. So now we got people snorting pixie sticks over at the back of the dance walls. I remember that. Or either people bought pixie sticks or people brought pixie sticks. I can't remember. Do you remember? I, I have a very vague memory. So this is my sixth grade, so 2011 and 2012. There was this thing in our town where it was, what was it called? But it was like a bunch of kids went to it. It, it was separate from school. And they came back the next day with bracelets and the glasses with like the splatter paint on them. Um, I don't know what they called it. It wasn't like Kids World. It was like, it was something for like teens to go to. I never went to it, so I can't explain it that much. But it was like they talked about it on the news. You don't know what I'm talking about? So yeah, sunglasses and bracelets, and it was something for yeah, like that... the glow in the dark bracelets, okay. the sunglasses. But they were they had lines. Okay. You know those sunglasses? Right? Yeah, I, yeah, I know. And those. then, but they had them splattered. And they said they got them splattered there. I don't know. I, it was I unfortunately weird, but... don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'll have to ask them. I never went to it. Had really cool parents back then to let kids them go. world. No, no, it was, as I said, it wasn't called Kids World. It, it was something that was like teen party. I don't know. It, it was some t- two-word weird thing. Where kids know. went to it so that, you know, they wouldn't get drunk Anyways, and stuff. Anyways, yeah. I just remember really wanting to go to that because it looked like a cooler version of yeah. the school dances we had. Yeah. You want... Know did, do, you know, did you, do you know that every single person I go to is shocked to hear that we uh, do breathalyzers at our school, that we did breathalyzers at our school dances? No one else did that? No, not a single person that I've ever talked to outside of Elmira High School well, did a breath. I, you gotta I, admit, when you first this, walked in, weren't you surprised, though? Uh, a little bit. I was. But it got to the point where my senior year, I went to senior I was dating this girl and we went to a, the prom at her school mm-hmm. and we go in and we get tickets and we just go inside and I turned to her I'm like we didn't do a breathalyzer oh. <laughs> and she's like what are you talking about <laughs> and I'm like we're a breathalyzer we just make sure we're not drunk before we go in she's like this- your school does a breathalyzer test is this corning or horse heads this is uh, this is horse heads okay. um and ever since that day, because I felt like an idiot that day. <laughs> nah. Every person I go to, whenever we're talking about school dances, I'm like, did your dance do breathalyzers? And every single person I talk to has said no. Yeah. And not only no, they're like, no. In sophomore year, when I saw it, I was like, I'm fifth, or I saw it for homecoming. So this is October. Yeah. And I saw it for the first time, and I said, I'm not doing that. And I skipped right through the line. <laughs> I didn't take a breath. I'm 15. Like I'm fine. I like, mean, it's yeah. Fine. I mean, but pe- we we we've known people that did that stuff. 15. <sighs> yeah, but like, I knew a kid when it might listen to this. My first day going to middle school in sixth grade at Ernie Davis Middle School. Yeah, I met a kid with an ankle bracelet. <laughs> like, like the like the. The home arrest one, like house arrest. Yeah, <laughs> and I remember being like, 
were 12. <laughs> like, I, like, there's got to be a story. What could you have possibly done at 12 to get put in exactly. house Exactly. Like, I don't know. It was weird. I thought it was pretty cool, though, yeah. at the time. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I don't know. I guess it's the, the town we it's live in. It's literally just us. I mean, maybe there's some obscure school in, like, Florida that does it and... Or maybe, or maybe breath leathers are common and it's just uncommon in our day. I, I don't know. I don't know. All I remember is that that line was so long. It yeah, probably, yeah. It probably it cost them. Off. It cost them so much money to get those like tubes. You know, like, does it cost a lot? Uh, well, I mean, the the thing, the devices, they only had like three of them, but they had probably to buy like eight, nine hundred of those tubes. I thought they had three. That's, that can't cost a little. That, I mean, maybe three, but yeah, that can't cost cheap. That can't be cheap for those. You know, some guy ruined that for everyone, though. Yeah. Some guy probably came in drunk and like. Yeah, but all right, listen, all right. And I'm not saying that they didn't see this coming and there's nothing they can really do about it. But I mean, if you want to get drunk and go to a dance, mm-hmm. and then you see the breathalyzers, what is your next logical step? I mean, if you can't get to drunk, leave, I guess. If, no, no, but hear me out. If you can't get drunk and go to the dance. Mm-hmm. Then just go to the dance and get drunk. Oh, uh, just sneak it in. So yeah, people, but they got all people, those chaperones. I mean, yeah, but I mean, you, all you, all you have to do is you're because you're in like a well, like a tux or maybe not tux, but you got a suit and tie. Yeah. So you got a lot of big pockets. Probably got a bag. You know, I'll just sneak in like a little. And I'm saying I never did this. I don't really know. I, I'm sure people did in high school. I didn't really see him doing it. But I'm saying it's theoretically, you could just take a little thing of put it in your pocket, go over to the corner, like that's it. That that's the that's the solution. They're not gonna breathalyze you in the dance. Do other schools have luau's? Because we had a luau. We did. I mean, I'm sure they had some. They probably didn't call it a luau. Or maybe well, what else would it be called? A Hawaiian dance. A Hawaiian dance. Or a spring. Or maybe it's like a spring. I feel dance. like luau translates to Hawaiian. Dance. I feel like it's yeah, but yeah. I mean, I'm sure they had a spring dance. Oh, okay. And maybe the theme of it was a luau, or maybe it was Hawaiian or the beach or something like that. Yeah, I wish I enjoyed the luau's more though, because I like the luau. I like yeah. In sophomore year, I went, and then you know they had, you know, just they had us all bunched in in that one part of our school where it's like outside. But yeah, no, I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and uh, well, I was like, whatever. Well, now that that's on the record. <laughs> Who cares? I thought it was fun because, I mean, well, for one, we're outside, mm-hmm. and we got lucky enough with nice weather. And it wasn't just, you know, like the regular dance. They had, you know, they had the beach balls and the hula hoops, and you kind of just, like, hit them up, and they you know, get kind of started like a, you know, like a woo, like a volleyball kind of thing. Then they had limbo. I mean, who doesn't love limbo? Right. Don't tell me I like limbo. I know you like limbo. I've never won, so I don't know. I mean, yeah, they do. that's because you're like a cyclops on there. Wait, Cyclops. Wait, no, that's not it. What are you? What, what's? Are you saying I have one eye? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's this joke about referees where be like, if that referee had a third eye, he'd be a cyclops. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, no, not a cyclops. But you're tall. Yeah, you're six two. I guess. What do you mean you guess? I'm six one, but I don't. You're like six it. one. I don't like you, it being. You already get hold on. Hold on. I don't like it being an odd number, so I round up. That's all. Bro, why don't you round down to 6 Because 6 is the same as 512, and I'm sure as hell not 512, so. What? <laughs> I'm 6 1. That's true. Does that make you uncomfortable to say that? It's not uncomfortable, it's just like. 6 1, it's 6 a, 1, 6 it's 1. A, it's a little bit frustrating that it's not an even number. Well, why can't you just grow an extra inch? I don't need. Veggies like Here's that. my secret pie. Here's my secret logic that I'm not going to tell anyone except everyone's watching the podcast. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm five eleven. But are you really? Yeah. But oh my God. But when I wear shoes, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> when I wear shoes, I'm six foot. Are you five eleven in any quarters or no? Like I, I think maybe a, maybe maybe a quarter or two. I can't. I I'm not that specific. But when I wear shoes... If I was 5'11", I would count everything. Uh, when, I'm, when I wear shoes, I'm six foot. Are you sure you're 5'11"? You're, t- you're six feet. With shoes? James, do you ever see me without shoes? Yeah, when we were on the inflatables on our senior thing. Senior trip thing. But most of the time, 
when you see me, I'm wearing shoes, okay, yeah. right? But like, okay, anytime you mostly see someone that's wearing shoes, yeah. But yeah, and you just said that I'm six foot, correct? You think of me as six feet? I think of you as that, yeah. Because you see me with shoes on, I guess. You tell me it adds a whole inch. It does. Okay, what are you wearing then? I'm wearing I'm wearing shoes. Sneaks. I put on ankle socks. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Most people's perspective of me, when they think of me, is me with shoes on, not me without shoes. Which means most people's perspective of me is a six foot man. Mm. So I just tell people I'm six foot. Well, at least you're willing to admit it now. Yeah, it's my secret. It's on the right. It's my secret that, you know what? It's, it's so it's secretive. A, it's a old, it's a win, it's a win win because if the podcast gets big, then that's great. And if the podcast doesn't get big, then my secret stays a secret. It's not going to get big. But if it does, it's, what I'm saying is, it's a I almost don't want it to. You don't? I don't know. You're going to make I a have, tier to make a have, TikTok for this and you don't want to get No, no, no. It. Listen, we'll, we'll do what we need to do to market it. It's just... I, I guess I have to ask what you mean by big. I don't... I, yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't want it... I don't want people to really know... Maybe what I look like, I guess. I don't know. You, you don't people know what you look like? Or you just it's just like, I feel like anyone, you know, not that I've done anything, but like, people just cancel people all the time. And I'm not, I don't like that whole, I'm so, so I get scared about fame now. Okay. It, so I don't, yeah. Okay, so we won't get famous, but we'll like. Do you want to be famous? I don't really want to be famous. <laughs> right. I would hate that. If I was a celebrity, I would literally hate that. Yeah. But we have, like, enough people watching to where we feel kind of important. I bet there's three viewers right now. And shout out to you guys. You guys are... Three? Are loyal. That's a that's, a, that's an... For episode two? Yeah, it's a big episode. Is it? It's, <laughs> every episode's a big episode. The title episode. of this is going to be, like... Every episode. Streaming episodes, episode. middle school... Hey, I, or horror movies. Hey, I'm, I'm going to come up with interesting titles for our podcast, okay? Please do that. I will. Let me know. <laughs> On this t- today's episode, James and I talk about streaming. In this essay, I will. In this essay, I'll <laughs> demonstrate the importance of the... I mean, I, I'll tell you why. I never did that in an essay. Okay, so why. if we had... if we had, I don't even know. Like... What would be the optimal number so of So usually people? they say on Spotify, they'll say how many monthly listeners you have. Okay, so and how I, many monthly... I think it's the same thing for podcasts. How many monthly listeners do you want? At our peak, I'd like to hit like... A hundred. A hundred. A hundred monthly listeners. hundred monthly listeners. Okay. Yeah. Then we can shoot for a hundred. I'd like... And I, then once we... I'd like a hundred people to go on their car ride to work and, and just, just want to hear two 20-year-old dudes just... Vibing about life. Yeah, vibe, reminisce, whatever. So, okay. Yeah. And then once we hit 100, we start sucking. <laughs> we No, we start doing, uh, start talking about stuff we don't know shit about. We, that's what we, we spent this whole episode doing oh, that. No, I know about my middle school childhood. Yeah, we spent 20 minutes talking about streaming. We're like, oh. Uh, we start talking about, like. I just spread infor- misinformation about Trolls War Tour. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, but you went and looked up to make sure because it was just yeah, like, it was just a number, like a dumb dumb. No, but um, I won't say what. But there's this one podcast. Ah, uh, podcast. The black hat. There's this one podcast. There's this one podcast that I've listened to, and they like. I don't know. They 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 do good work. It's just like they they have a certain um topic that they that they go off of. It's like the yeah. uh, mystery sort of thing, but they don't. I don't know, like, they'll get things wrong and, like, make really bad, corny jokes during it, and it's like, I, I try to enjoy it for, like, to, like, learn about what they're talking about, but I can't. So, we should just start doing that. Just talk about stuff, get things wrong, make yeah. really corny jokes. Let the episode... And it'll go back down. No. Let the episode suck. Just like we're doing right now. Yeah. I mean, I don't think these episodes suck, but they're certainly not great. I no. guarantee what we're talking about right now, no one cares about how we're going to market our shit. But anyways, yeah. Anyways, did you know that yesterday What's up? was the 21st day of the 21st week of the 21st year No. of the 21st century? Why are we talking about that? But did you know? No. We missed it. Did you know? 
I did not know. We missed it. That's fine. There's always going to be another pie day. and you know, We we really did not take advantage of Pi Day 2015. Right? That was a big mistake. I remember a couple of people posting photos on Instagram and that was it. But we should have. Yeah. At 9 a.m. What was it? 9. 3.14159265359. I don't know. I don't know anything beyond what you just said. That's funny. We lost the light. We can t we lost a light. It's powered by battery though, so you just plug it in. But anyways, yeah. Yeah. I have nothing else to say about the twenty first. I just, I just felt like I just felt like saying it. I, I think it's cool. But we missed it. I th we should we should like celebrate or something. I don't think I enjoyed twelve twelve twelve. Twelve twelve. Yeah, but that's not cool. At twelve twelve. Twelve twelve. I was in art class and. My Miss uh, Princiato was my teacher. You know what really annoys me? All the 11 11 wishes on Snapchat. I don't know. It's and they'll be like, oh, literally, wait, wait, wait. I'll, no open up some, I'll open up someone's. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. on Snapchat that's still posting 11 11s. You lost your light again. <laughs> that's fine. That's, that's what There's the definitely a ghost in here or something. <laughs> if the, yeah. Well, that's what's weird is because the battery can't. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. Who cares? That's enough light. You got enough light? Yeah, yeah. We should see if you do, though. I have light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I'll, I'll be just scrolling through, and then hit someone's snap story, and it's just a black screen. It says 11 11, and the caption will be like, it won't even be a wish. It'll be like, only the real ones know. <laughs> I'll be like, what is this? I'm not gonna lie. One thing Don't I, hit me up. <laughs> one thing I did that was really cringy was the, um, Taking a break from social media. Taking a break from. I d and I didn't do. I was just like. I I did, I did it two times, and that was because I would be getting rid of my Snapchat, and as you know, I've gotten rid of like three of them just because like, I don't know. It just gets like. Here's the thing. I I feel like if my Snap score is high, like I don't know. I used to care a lot about uh, stuff like that. I still take breaks from social media. The difference is... You I don't tell people. I don't announce it. <laughs> yeah. If you're announcing you're taking a break from social media, it's kind of... Yeah. I don't know I don't know what to say about it. You, do, you want someone to ask. You want, That's what it is. You want someone to be like, is everything all good? Yeah. And, I mean, that's okay. Mm -hmm. the, the, that is, there's nothing wrong with wanting to talk things out or be like, hey, I need someone to talk to, right? Like, that's okay. That's... We... We encourage that. It's okay. But you could be a little more direct about it, you know? Yeah. And instead of using... And I'm kind of treading on thin water because I, I, I don't have a huge... I don't really... I don't really actually have a problem with people who say they're taking a break on social media. I just... They're, like and well, it's it, I don't know. This is just this is just me just throwing out words right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I I feel like that's kind of where the underlying motive behind that, and I know it because I've done it mm -hmm. when I was younger, and I know now when I take a break from social media and I don't announce it, I know it's just I just need to focus. Normally, when I do it, it it means I have schoolwork. Yeah, and I really need to actually buckle down and do it. Are you gonna download Twitter again? Ah. Uh, if I did, I summer Twitter's awesome. If yeah. I did, I, I if I did, I wouldn't tweet a lick. I wouldn't oh, make a okay. single tweet. I would just want to look at stuff. Well, why? Why wouldn't you say anything? Hmm? I don't know. I just You're it's about just it's just because Twitter's already another thing that I'm scrolling on all day. Mm. You know, and it kind of and I'm already scrolling a little too much on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. But yeah, Instagram and Facebook, I scroll a lot. Snapchat, those are I barely look at. Twitter, they're easy too because once you, it's not, it's not like it was before where you finish your scrolling and then it's stuff you've already seen. So you kind of ah, like, yeah. Now you finish your scrolling and it recommends you, you know, like funny videos, um, and like um, influencers and it's always it's, there's right. always a splurge of new stuff to look at even I, every time you refresh it so it's very hard to get off those apps right I remember someone said on Facebook they go how long did it take you to realize that every four posts is an ad and I started scrolling every four posts on Facebook is an ad what and then, but listen I then did it on Instagram same thing wait what yeah one 
add one, two, three, add <laughs> one, two, three, add, add. What? So every fourth is an ad then. Dude, yeah. what? Isn't that weird? And you don't, and that's just crazy. You don't even notice. How, did, how do you not notice that? You mean, how do you notice that? How, how did I not notice uh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like, just scrolled and there'd be ads and that was it, you know? Yeah. Wow. But that, it stretches out your thing already. Yeah. Because they want you to stay on. It's crazy. Yeah. And I think it even, even not even so much as looking at the ad. Mm-hmm. And being invested in the ad, um, the ad gives you a reason to scroll past it. Like you look in an ad, you're like, "Oh, an ad!" Swipe, and yep. you keep going down. And every every time you see an ad, you scroll away from it and onto new content. Then all they gotta do is keep you engaged for every three posts, yeah. and you're just going down, 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 down. Anytime. And apparently, it's the same with. It's, it can't be the same with Twitter. I definitely would have noticed. No, Twitter. no, no. Definitely it's, not. With Twitter's Twitter. like. Once every five minutes, we get an ad. Like, it's yeah, but Twitter doesn't need to because I mean, the whole point of Twitter is I mean, Twitter is very Twitter's good. chronological though, isn't it? Like, um, as far as I know, yeah, I know the most recent posts. I like, normally don't see things from like three days ago unless it's you know like blowing up or something like that. But yeah, if you're ever thinking about this stuff, you should always just go to your settings and see how much time you spend on an app. Oh yeah, screen time. It is. Yeah. Every Sunday I get a screen time report. It'll say like, really? Yep. Yeah, it'll be every Sunday at um, I think ten in the morning. It'll be like your weekly activity went up twelve percent, or it went down fifteen percent. I don't want to know. Or it, your weekly. If it says your weekly time was this, it means it didn't change from the last week. Um, I think it's good to know. I think it's good to know because it'll tell you the average amount of time you spend on your phone. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, sometimes my average. And I'm willing to say this because I mean I feel I definitely know I'm not the only one. My average has sometimes been up to seven hours a day. Yeah. All right, and that is a lot. In fact, hold on. Let me uh, just to be completely blunt with everybody. Let me let's let's, let's see how let's long ours, let's yeah. see how long I've been on right now. Screen time. So yeah, my right now my daily average is six hours and thirty three minutes, which how, is down. How do I? And that is down six percent from last week. So you're gonna go to screen time. Uh, okay. And you have to turn it on. So actually, you might not have uh well, Maybe I don't want that. Get a weekly report. Oh, yeah, I don't want all that. Yeah, but there's another, there's another way to so look t- at So it. for today, I've been on for one hour and one minute. And keep in mind that I've been awake for... Two hours. Two hours. Yeah. So... Wait, what? How is that possible? I wake up and I get on my phone. No, 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 no. But you said you've been on your phone for... It said you've been on your phone for how long? An hour and what? Hour and one minute. So half the time you've been awake, you've been on your phone already. Uh, it counts time that I said listening to music as well, I believe. Oh, that's stupid. They shouldn't count that. Because um, I'll just play it in the car. Because right? I mean, sometimes I play music on YouTube. But is it screen time if the screen isn't on? I mean, yeah, but I, if I'm playing the music on YouTube, then the screen is technically on. Oh, okay. Yeah, but... Um, play music on YouTube. I don't know, so... <laughs> I got my app music and then I got my that's, music. That's that's streaming. Yeah, we didn't even talk about streaming for music. We didn't talk about streaming YouTube for music. YouTube Red, where you can turn your screen off and still listen to things on YouTube. Yeah. I did I did that for like three months. I got it too. And then I got rid of it because I'm it's like... It's not even worth it. And I could just play it on my computer. <laughs> well, not even that. It was just like I would... I kind of use it to like listen to Joe Rogan podcast. It's like it, it actually play on Spotify. They play the the audio and the video. You can literally watch a video on Spotify. You can. Yeah. If I pull up a Joe Rogan podcast right now, you know, one of these even days, even the ones from like two thousand nine, they play the video of it. I I think one of these days you might actually convince me to switch over to Spotify. It's yeah. But that student can discount on Apple Music. It'd be it'd be pretty. Fresh. You have a student discount for Spotify. You do. Yeah, it does. Wow, every day I stray closer and closer. <laughs> and Spotify has a larger selection, I believe. Oh, no, they definitely have a larger selection. Yeah. Then, yeah. Hmm. What's keeping you on Apple Music? I don't know, laziness? Yeah. Okay. How, how long have we been talking? It has been 55 minutes. 55 minutes? Yeah. We got anything else we want to discuss today? Shoot. I'm not, I, I, if you got something, say it right now. Otherwise, I'm ending it. I, um, I, I'm not, I don't want to... Any creative juices that are in your brain, I don't want to hold them in. I didn't have any. 
<sighs> he doesn't have any. Which means episode two is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. This has been Champ Machines. See you later.